So, this is kind of a tutorial type video. And so I'm using a software called Animation Desk. It's free to download on iOS. Don't know about Android, but it's on iOS. I know that. And so there is a premium version. I don't have it. So I'm just using the basic tools. And I'm going to kind of teach you how to make a line animation. This is probably going to be a terrible tutorial, but who cares? Okay, so I always start by setting the it to one frame because it's easier. Then I go like 14 FPS. You can go whatever you want. And then I'm just going to pick a name. I don't know. So I'm just going to call it tutorial. Tutorial. Boom. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. So I have a bunch of preset colors. I'm gonna start I'm gonna stick with this. So I always start by no wait. Let's undo that. So you draw a line. That's, that's all you start with. That's it. And then what I always do. So on the side of the screen, there's a thing that looks like, kind of like on a computer, it would look like the, uh, the symbol to make it like full screen or something. I'm just going to click that a few times because that duplicates the frame. Usually I make it last around one second, so whatever you set your frame rate to, just duplicate it around that many times. And then you hit the one right above that, the one with the plus. And then, wait, I have my thing off. I gotta turn that on. In this little settings thing, no, not that one. That one. I gotta turn on the onion skin, cause it's way better. Now I can see exactly where I drew that. And if I'm gonna start with like, just a good old jump, what I do is I kinda wiggle and make sure that it's a little shorter than you, than it was before. Then I hit add frame again. Then we shorten them more. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Let's delete that frame. So we add frame. Then shorten them a whole bunch. Then I duplicate it once. Then you kind of straighten them out. Mostly at least. And then you kind of just continue it in a straight line until he like hits a wall so like that's the wall up there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna no wait i'm gonna do that no that that is so bad that and what i always do is i add like little particles here and then in the next frame i just turn them into dots so i just kind of keep doing this until it ends up where I want it. Which in this case, it's gonna, what I'm gonna do here is just bring him down to the corner and then what I'm gonna do is, so right here he's gonna hit and this one is just gonna have one particle on it then turn it to a dot, bring it down. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so that when he hits the bottom, which I'm gonna hit that button there, you, you can see it changing on the side because that removes the thing on the bottom. It still has the tool selected, so I can just do that. Then on the bottom here, instead of bouncing more, I'm gonna make it so that he like impacts on it like that add frame turn those to dots it's gonna like shorten and thicken i guess like that then he's gonna kind of turn into like a ball i guess because i feel like doing that and once he becomes the ball shape that I want him to be. I'm just gonna duplicate this a little bit 
just a few. And then what we gotta do is we need to do, well, we don't need to, but this is what I wanna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, just duplicate it a few more times and then I'm gonna make it so that he like, nope, didn't wanna do that. I want him to like, kinda do this so that it looks like he's like flattened. Then we copy that a couple times. And then he kinda shoots up like that. That's too big though, like that. It just shoots up. Not too far though. Kinda just making it so that he just goes up a little bit like that. And then he's gonna kinda slow down a little bit like that. I know there's a fill tool, but I'm too lazy for that. I'm just gonna do that. It's not hard. And then he's actually gonna kind of compact a little bit here. Oh, not like that. Like this, I guess. And then we just duplicate that. And then he starts falling again, like that. And I think you, you get the idea. But you want like these kind of frames that go like stretch frames, I call them. And once we hit the bottom here, we'll be good. And I'm gonna show you how to make it bounce. And then that will pretty much be it because I don't like having videos that are too long. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. So then he impacts it, like this, and then kind of collapses to this form, then like basically almost perfectly flat, like this kind of. And then he does become flat, like, really extended, I guess. And then, actually, no, we want to duplicate that. And then he bounces back up, like that. And falls back down, like this. And then we just kind of bring him back to his original state. And boom. That's all you gotta do. And I'm gonna copy this a little bit. And there we go. Then I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use this tool to cut him and then move him over there. Then I zoom out. Do it again. Cut. I'm actually gonna bigify him. No, wait. I didn't duplicate the frame. Gotta duplicate it. So we duplicate it and then do this. So we gotta bigificationify him. Put him there. Okay, now we're fully zoomed out. So I want him kind of in the center. So we'll like do that. And then I'm gonna make it so that he like turns to red almost. There are different brushes here and I'm gonna select like the biggest one. Like, so it says new, new, new. And then the one right next to that. Because that can go way bigger than the other ones, as you can see, way bigger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it so that he, like, phases between colors. It's not going to be very subtle, like, I'm just kind of 
going quick because I don't want a long video. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. It's still gonna look good, I think. Just kind of fade it all over almost. And there we go. Now we have this madness. And then we're gonna kind of stretch them out a little bit. I think I'm just gonna use this. It's easier. There's a weird bug where it resets its size. But, yep, now we got that. Then, if I just kinda embiggen it like that way. There we go. Now, I'm gonna do something really cool. Just, you, all you gotta do is kinda just put, I'm just gonna duplicate it and go. Sub. Scribe. I ran out of room. No, whatever. Still good enough. So there you go. Now we'll kind of just play it, but it's better to play it in a different screen. So I'm gonna hop over to that screen and yeah. Okay, here. Okay, here it is. It's really bad, but you know, I think it still looks pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So, bye.